So hey guys, I am back and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the weapon manager. So basically for that we'll uh, so the first thing we're gonna do here is open up and go to the very end of our player and go to the right hand. So in there we are just gonna double click and add an empty game object. So in there you're gonna add empty game object and reset and then you're gonna um, name it to weapon manager then we're gonna add a weapon manager script PS weapon manager and you're gonna just say the weapons in use so inside this weapon manager we'll be creating we'll be adding a new another weapon so just double click for an empty and inside this weapon manager you're just gonna reset this scale, uh, reset everything then we're name it we're gonna name it to machine machine gun and basically add this script corresponded to it or like PS weapon and another script called uh, weapon index yeah so the weapon index is one and you can see there are pretty much many many things uh, I'm sorry about this. <laughs> this doesn't exist in yours, but so you're just gonna assign uh, the variables one by one for the animator for all the things. This this is the message with which it will send to the object which it hits. So there is you know pretty much many variety of things. I'll just like to say to be auto, then uh, none, and then the magazines or maybe we'll say bullets. And uh, you're just gonna add, a, you know, sounds like draw and fire, <clears throat> and then uh, reload. I'll say this reload, and then empty. You see, empty, and then uh, switch mod. Well, yeah, I'm not sure what is it. I, I'll just not add that. So then that is it. You don't really want to add the weapon animation things or anything. The letter max, I'll say it'll add everything. Muzzle flash and the light and then the damage and then everything. I'll just uh, add a GUI. And this is going to be this GUI. And then uh, the player main, this is the player shoot point from which it will shoot, but I don't think so. It's required, or is it? Uh, so. Yeah, that is it. And then you're just gonna go. Um, it's just gonna take the is that it is player and a shoot point from which it will shoot. I'll just like it to be the same as look at point. And then um, yeah, it'll shoot from the look at point. And then just gonna say horizontal or uh, cross here. Oh uh, wait a second. Just need some tanks. That one, and then go to the very end and get the that one. Yeah. Then cross here. And yep, that is pretty much it. I'm just gonna add this too. Then the, the then it's time to add the mall for. You know, basically the weapons. So just gonna go to the weapon system machine gun and you're gonna drag and drop the model inside there it's pretty big and uh, I'm just gonna like to make it to be one one and one it makes it pretty small we're gonna work around with that later so uh, I guess I'll uh, make it to 180 make it to 90 And I like it to be more like that. So you're just gonna set it up, and uh, that is gonna be it. So I'll just come back when I have set my weapon up. So, so guys, we're back, and uh, now we're just gonna work around with the corrector. So I've added it a little bit, so uh, you can just see that there is the weapon. I have not too much just variables adding and some things 
I have just set the weapon a little bit. So yeah, and now let's just uh, add the muzzle flash at the end. So you'll find the muzzle flash inside this weapons, and there is the muzzle flash. I don't know which one is which one is the working one. I guess this one. You're just gonna add it inside the machine gun. And uh, well, no, no, I'm sorry. This I guess inside the machine gun. Yeah. And just the very end point. It just needs to scale up a little bit. I guess it added the old gun. So you're just gonna work around with it like that. And I uh, just wanna scale it a little bit, fit it. You can just add the material directly of the muzzle flash to it. You don't need it to be editing too much. I'll just uh, reduce the intensity of the light a little bit too much. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna assign it at the end of it. We're gonna make it a big one, like a little bit big. up and yeah so there it is you're just gonna go and assign him the muzzle flash now the muzzle flash render the light I, I'll just say you can create a point light right at that point just uh, create a little bit yellowish a little bit and just gonna make its range to like 5 Add it inside the machine gun and tell it that yep there that is the point light. So yeah, you got the point light and you you're also gonna assign the weapons inside of, you know drag and drop this there and uh, and also drag and drop that inside there weapons in the game I'm sorry yeah there so that is it you can uh, pretty much try it it should work fine. So first I like to make the camera edit it a little bit. So for that I'll just gonna go to the corrector. And the camera is doing that. I like to create another empty game object for the targeting of the camera. And I'm gonna make it to like 1.5. Make it a little bit on the Z. 0.5. And this is the camera. This is the ones which the camera is gonna rotate around. I'm just sorry a little bit. It's not working so nicely. And uh, we're also gonna assign the particles. So just gonna assign the particle for the untag. They're also inside it already. Uh, sparks, you can say. Yeah, sparks. So they are gonna be yep, yeah, right from there. This works fine, but you know, <laughs> I'm not that cool guy in this case. I don't know. Even though when I set it up, sometimes I forgot many things. So sorry about that. Breaks fine, and uh, and now I guess it's uh, you know the time to uh, tell you guys that how it is. So uh, yeah, so now we're gonna add the upper body script, basically. This upper body is gonna drag and drop it to there, to the player, or like that. And you just need to make this to 60, 60, and assign your spine. That's your your player spine. <laughs> and that should do it. <coughs> it should work pretty fine, but it should also make errors in a few cases. So, wait a second guys, I'm coming back, just a second. So guys, uh, I'm back, and uh, uh, I just load intensity, setting my gun. So, we're gonna just make this weapon type index to 1. 
so that should pretty much work. And you can try playing it now. Uh, no, I guess we should make it to two then. In this case. Or maybe one is alright. So let me just see when it just goes there, when the current weapon equals zero, and this is... Sorry, this is gonna be one. Sorry guys, I just got it a little bit bad, so... Yeah, let's get right on now. So, um, we're just gonna make the weapon. The one here now. And you can pretty much try it out now. You can just see it works fine. And everything is really nice. Now it's time for the other thing, you know, which we are going to say the aiming function for the player because it's pretty much not working right. You, you can see it doesn't work nicely yet. Just going to say the head look controller. What a second, guys. I'm back. All right, guys. So sorry for the delay. You know, I'm a little bit busy, so I was so let's just uh, work around with them. So we're gonna add the head look controller now, which is gonna be the ones. Uh, well, not this one. Sorry, the ones which uh, it's the PS one. And you're just gonna assign your read node. It could automatically assign it to. It's gonna assign the look at target. Say him to override the animation. And uh, add a segment. So the first thing here is gonna be. You're gonna add the spine one right there. And then you're gonna add the head. We're gonna change the uh, bending angles and response to 15. And yeah, let's just try it out. So uh, that should pretty much do it. I don't know, it's not so good. Good. Uh, uh, but yeah, you can play around with the settings, and uh, that should do it. So and that should pretty much do it. So I'm also gonna play around a little bit with these settings. See what a uh, what you know what we have got here, and you can also change the speed of the zooming in, zooming out like this. You know, just make it, and the more the speed it is smoothly the less it goes so I'll say like 0.1 so a little bit you know bad so you, you might be able to see that too uh, yes it is maybe we should uh, make it a little bit like that I'm sorry but uh, I just didn't remember yeah, that is that is a little bit good, I guess. I'm still not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for that. No, that is going to make it really bad. Really, really bad. Yeah, so... We got this, and I am so sorry, we were working already. Alright, but I just uh, forgot about one thing, so I'm just going to add this onto the tin and I'm just gonna go uh, go ahead and do it quickly very very quickly I don't got enough time so I'm sorry and just there and see it and yeah there you go it works fine so thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye